Namaskar, my name is Sudhashil Ghosh. I am teaching Tinkercad on YouTube. Today we are going to see the gas sensor. So if there is a gas leak, there should be an alert and uh, we will try to create a circuit using Tinkercad using the gas sensor um, and maybe one beeper, a buzzer. So let us go ahead and create that circuit. So we will go forward and we will click here. As you can see, this is the working area. We'll take the breadboard and the Arduino as well as we'll bring in the gas sensor. So this is the gas sensor here and we'll also get hold of the buzzer. So we'll get hold of the buzzer. So there's the buzzer here. So we have collected all the components and then we are going to connect so for this connection, what we'll do is we'll first of all rotate the breadboard so that there is a convenience of space. We will put our Arduino here and the breadboard here. We'll make comfortable space now. And uh, the first thing is that you see to connect this particular gas sensor. So let us understand the gas sensor first. So it has got A1 h1 and a2 it has got b1 h2 and b2 so essentially what has to happen is that this gas sensor has to be connected we cannot connect it like this this is a wrong connection so you need to rotate the gas sensor and you need to connect it like this okay so maybe this is the correct connection now so you see a uh, part of the gas sensor, all this A1, H1 and A2, they are on one side of the breadboard and the B1, H2 and B2 are on the other side of the breadboard. So the first thing that we should do is to connect the power. Okay, so we will connect the power here. There you go. And uh, we are connecting the power so we can connect the power let's say here okay so very conveniently we can we can do the power connection and there you are so we are just making it connected beautiful right so we have done that connection now we have connected the power so what we are going to do is we are going to connect the ground to this particular row Okay, so to connect the ground, we just connect it to this particular row. Okay. Now remember that we have already connected the power button. So basically, the entire 5 volt line is distributed over this particular line and the ground is distributed over this particular line. Okay. And so, therefore, if you want to connect the gas sensor now, we are going to connect from here to here. We are going to connect from here to here to so this all these three terminals should be connected to the power line so we have done that now then bring in a resistor so we'll have to bring in one resistor so that the circuit will have some resistance we'll get the resistor here we'll rotate this resistor and now what we are going to do is connect the resistor like this okay so to this line the resistor is connected and this connection is transferred to this particular column okay so you see this connection is transferred to this particular column this particular column and this particular column and the resistor is connected to this particular column here at the same time you have to note this particular ground connection so we have to bring this here all right and this will be the input pin for the analog sensor so we are going to do one thing we are going to take uh, the pin from here and take the pin from here we'll come here and we'll come here and ultimately connect the pin to this particular place so because it's the signal pin let us for the sake of convenience color it brown so that we can identify it separately all the connections which are red in color 
okay the connections which are connected to the power line we will make them mark them red all right so we are marking them red right now okay this is also just marking them red so that there will be clarity in the connection and whatever is connected to the ground will mark them black in color okay so we have done the connections so therefore these connections are complete what we have to do now is to read the signal from the gas sensor and this signal will be read at the a0 pin as you can see here and then we will try to redirect this signal or redirect the information procured from this particular pin to the serial monitor so let us do that we will open the code and we are putting down everything here now what do we do once we have done without the connection so we let us create one variable so we'll create the variable let us name the variable as gas and we are going to set the value of the variable to an input from the this pin analog pin so we are going to take an input from the analog pin so it's written read analog pin it is already a0 here there's no problem so we have uh, set the variable gas to the value being read from the analog pin so now what we are going to do is we are going to redirect this particular gas variable or gas value to the serial monitor so serial monitor will be output so essentially so we are going to do that print to the serial monitor and what we have to print is the gas the value of the gas variable remember that we have already set the value of the gas variable and then we are printing the value of the gas variable if i do that open the print or serial monitor if i do that what is happening now let us see okay so when we are having this it is giving some values and as we move closer to the gas sensor the values are increasing so the you can see that the maximum value is three somewhere like 378 here if we just go away from here we go away from here and let us suppose that we are still farther going away from here so you got 85 as the minimum value that we can see here all right so we can see that 85 is the minimum value so what we are going to do so we are going to detect the gas when are we going to detect the gas if the gas is at this proximity so for example it's very close so it is the value is 134 so let us suppose that when it is 134 it should show some output okay it should show some output so what is that output that we want to do we want to beep the buzzer we want to play the buzzer that is what we want to do so let us decide if the value of this output that is 134 okay if it is greater than that if we come closer than that you see it is going to increase with this greater than 134 we are going to beep the buzzer or we are going to play the buzzer so how do i do that so first of all we have to connect the buzzer okay so we'll stop the simulation right now here okay now let us zoom in let us zoom in and we'll try to see the connection now of the buzzer all right so let us zoom in so when we have zooming zoomed in remember that the terminals are facing this side whereas the breadboard is having like the orientation is like this so we are going to rotate this first of all when we have rotated it our job is to connect it to a pin a digital pin so let us suppose that this digital pin is to this digital pin is to we'll take one connection from here and connect to this connect it to this particular place so it is being connected to a place where the positive terminal is there and of course the negative terminal is going to be connected to the ground so we are going to connect this to the ground right so remember that the pin this pin is connected to pin number two okay let us zoom in let us zoom in here so it is connected to pin number two here and again 
the ground is connected to the negative terminal. So the actual signal pin is connected to pin number 2. So what we have to do is if the value is 1 greater than 134, we are going to put the pin number pin 2 to position high. So that means we are going to send the high signal to the to the positive terminal of the buzzer. So what we are going to that is what we are going to do. So how do I do that? Okay, very simple. So let us come to the code here and we go to control. When we go into control, what we see now, this is very interesting. What is what do we see now? We are going to do the if then else. So we're going to do if then else. All right. And now we have to do the math where we are going to compare. So we are going to compare like this. Right. And then what has to be less than 134? Either it is less than 134 or greater than 134. So if it is greater than 134, you have to play the buzzer. Otherwise, the buzzer has to keep quiet. That is what the idea is. So if it is greater than 134, the buzzer has to play. Otherwise, the buzzer will have to keep quiet. So how do I make it greater than? So just make greater than and we are going to take this from here and let us do that 134 here okay so if the gas value is greater than 134 then beep the buzzer so what we have to do output and set pin number two high okay so what is pin number the pin number is two so we have to set it to high otherwise the pin has to be low so again we are going to do pin number two low so now when we have done this particular connection so let us try to play here so we'll start the simulation and you see the value is 99 here so if you are coming closer okay so you can see the value has become 135 and the value has become 135 and the speaker starts buzzing okay so it can you can also try to uh, you know integrate an uh, light emitting led so for example you can also try to integrate an led into this particular uh, system so let us suppose for example we are also connecting an led to this system so how do i do that uh, we will connect it to pin number two itself and if the pin number two gets a value high then the led will glow if it is getting a different value then it will go less so basically so we are going to say led all right so so we are going to get the led now right and let us uh, we we'll rotate this okay we we'll rotate this and we are going to connect the led to the same place okay so this is we are we are connecting to the same place let us zoom in and see so it is in the same line as the pin r as the pin is okay so now remember this this is the anode and this is the cathode so what we have to do is we have to flip the led the cathode the anode is to be connected to the pin and the cathode will be going to the ground so through a resistor you can go into the ground so basically we are going to again take a resistor we let the resistor come here rotate this resistor will come here and then this line will be connected to the ground okay so this line is going to be connected to the ground so let us see how the things happens now if i have zoomed in if we zoomed out properly and if we start the code simulation you see that the led has started glowing if the if it is coming closer the led starts glowing here as you can see here okay so it's very simple so those people all right so we'll there you are the LED is glowing okay 
so i hope you have understood what i have explained here if you are new to my channel please like share and subscribe if you are a returning viewer please share the link with other viewers so that they can also learn from the video i am sudeshil ghosh teaching you tinker guide on youtube thank you very much we'll stop the simulation jail